Hello everyone! Let's get started! Grab yourself a nice deep breath, because this kitchen's about to smell amazing. Trust me, by the end of this, you'll be wondering why you ever had bacon just with your eggs. First up, let's make something that'll kick your taste buds into high gear. Ok, let's grab a baking tray with a wire rack and place it on your work surface. Time to mix some brown sugar with a good bit of pork seasoning in that tray. Now, take those lovely bacon slices and give them a proper roll in the sugar and spice mix. Make sure they are covered on both sides. Lay them out on the wire rack once they are all set. Oh, they are gonna get even better! Next, grab that sriracha sauce and give it a good shake so it's ready to go, and drizzle it generously over each bacon slice, we are bringing some heat here. Now for the kicker! Finely chop some pickled jalapenos and sprinkle them over the top. Trust me, these will add just the right amount of tangy heat. Slide the whole tray into the oven. 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes should do the trick. You'll know it's ready when you've got crispy, spicy bacon streets that'll blow your socks off. Candied jalapeno bacon. Done and dusted. Now let's move on to something simple but addictive. Take a bunch of bacon slices, grab a pair of scissors and start snipping that bacon into little squares. Don't worry, this part's easy. Now toss in some salt, garlic powder, dried jalapeno flakes for a little kick, paprika and a bit of wheat flour right into the jar with the bacon bits. Pop the lid on the jar and give it a good shake. Make sure every piece is well coated. Now the magic happens. Pull out the air fryer, toss those seasoned bacon pieces in and cook them at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. What you'll get? Crispy, spicy bacon chips. Perfect for snacking. Trust me, you won't be able to stop at just one handful. Enjoy! Next up, we are rolling into something special. Grab a bowl of cooked rice. Now add 3 tablespoons of mayonnaise, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of sesame oil and 1 teaspoon of salt to the rice. Crumble up a sheet of nori. Toss it in and then give everything a good mix with a spoon. Now roll a handful of that rice into a nice tight ball. Place a slice of bacon on a board. Top it with a thin slice of cheddar and wrap it around the rice ball. Got it? Good. Place them into the air fryer and sprinkle a bit of sesame over the top. Cook at 180 degrees Celsius for 12 minutes. When they are done, you've got yourself a bacon wrapped rice ball that's like sushi, but, well, even better. Enjoy! Now let's whip up something a bit fancier. We are making something truly indulgent here. 
Start by slicing up 400 grams of bacon into small bits. Now heat up a pan and render them until they are golden and crispy. Next, finely chop one onion and throw it in with the bacon. Saute everything until the onions are nice and caramelized. Time to add some sweetness. Start with 100 grams of sugar. Then splash in 50 milliliters of bourbon for an extra kick. Next, drizzle in 40 milliliters of balsamic vinegar for a tangy twist. Pour in 150 grams of maple syrup to round it all out. Add salt to taste. Add a touch of sriracha for a little kick of heat. Stir it all together and let it simmer until it thickens up into a glorious sticky concoction. Now pop it into a jar and you've got a smoky, sweet, tangy bacon jam. What you've just made is pure magic in a jar. The rich flavors of smoky bacon, sweet maple and that little kick of heat come together in a jam that's bursting with indulgence. This stuff is perfect in mac and cheese, tossed into salads or slathered on sandwiches. Enjoy! Next, let's spice things up a little. Take a zip bag and toss in 15 large shrimp. Now let's get those flavors ready. We are prepping a mix of spices that'll take this shrimp to a whole new level. Add 1 third teaspoon of chili flakes, quarter teaspoon of dried ginger powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of dried parsley. Give that bag a good shake to make sure every shrimp gets coated with that spicy goodness. Trust me, you'll want every bite to be packed with flavor. Now let's get the bacon ready. Take a bacon slice, cut it lengthwise and drop each shrimp in a strip of bacon. Just look at how that bacon wraps around the shrimp. It's like a warm blanket of deliciousness. This is where things get serious. Then lay them on a tray, pop them in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes and get ready for some crispy, spicy, bacon-wrapped shrimp that'll have everyone asking for more. The result? Absolute perfection! Crispy bacon, tender shrimp and a kick of spice. One bite and you'll be hooked. Trust me, this is one dish that won't last long once it's on the table. Time for something cheesy. Unroll some parchment paper, don't worry, no sword fighting required here. And lay out your bacon strips in a criss-cross pattern, like a woven mat. Take your time with this, it's all about creating that perfect bacon weave. It'll hold everything together and give us that irresistible crispy layer. Now cover the weave with another piece of parchment and give it a roll with a pin. This helps lock those strips together, making sure everything stays in place. Once you peel back the parchment, you've got yourself a tightly woven bacon mat, ready for the next step. Take a wheel of camembert, slice it in half horizontally and stuff the middle with garlic, honey and your favorite herbs. This is the secret to making it irresistibly rich and savory. Close it back up, place it in the middle of your bacon weave and wrap it up tight. This is where things really start to come together. Into the oven it goes at 180 degrees Celsius until the bacon is crispy and the cheese is gooey. Serve with green onions and slice into that melted masterpiece. Trust me. 
This one's a crowd pleaser. Enjoy! Now let's make some fun party bites. Cut some dry cured sausages into small pieces about 3 cm each. Make sure those sausage bites are nice and even. Now let's get that bacon ready. Cut it in half so it's just the right size to wrap around. Then wrap each sausage piece in a half slice and pin it with a toothpick to hold everything in place. Now for a bit of heat, grab a jar of pickled jalapenos, slice one up and get ready for the next step. Top each one with a slice of pickled jalapeno, pipe in a little cream cheese and sprinkle over some cheddar. That cream cheese adds a smooth creamy texture and the cheddar… well, you can never go wrong with a little extra cheese. Pop them in the air fryer at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. These little bacon wrapped shots are a hit at any party, especially when you finish them off with a bit of bourbon barbecue sauce. Enjoy! And there you go! A full spread of delicious bacon recipes! Enjoy every bite and don't forget to subscribe for more!